So I recently bought a bunch of these very powerful N52 rare earth neodymium magnets on eBay. And I've been having an awful lot of fun experimenting with them and uh, injured myself a few times with them as well. These things are quite dangerous if you don't know what you're doing, so uh, be forewarned. Anyway, um, one of the things I noticed after I got these magnets in the mail was that they didn't all seem to be of equal strength, and I was wondering about that because these, uh, these aren't cheap magnets. I think I paid about $13 a piece for them. And as you can see, they're, they're pretty big. So I got quite a bit of magnetic force here in my hand. Now I store mine inside of a piece of ABS pipe like this to protect the magnets and to protect myself from the magnets. Now um, one of the things I did to figure out whether I was being ripped off or not was I built a little scale here to help me measure the difference in strength between one set of magnets and the others. And one thing I noticed was that they weren't all of equal strength. So I've got a piece of metal down here on a string attached to the scale and you can see when I pull up needle only goes so far and yet this one over here that's supposed to be the same strength has a profound difference as far as its strength you see there it pretty much pegs it out before it pulls off there the other thing I notice is when you hold them on an old cathode ray tube TV is that you can see just by the field coming out from the magnet here there's a big difference this is supposed to be the N52 grade right here and yet when I take this other one I goofed that up, didn't I? Oh, here it is. When I take this other one here, you can see it's not near as broad. So I contacted the vendor and I told him, you owe me some money. So uh, anyway, he's trying to negotiate a deal with me, but I'm not interested. I didn't pay uh, $13 a magnet to get some inferior grade. So I just thought it'd be worthwhile to make a video on this and warn some of my viewers, because I know a lot of the guys that watch my videos also like to experiment like I do. And... Uh, what I've been doing, I've been making some different teaching aids with these magnets. Like, for example, here's one where I've got a little magnet on a swivel. I can turn this thing around here. And just by holding it near this coil that has about three miles of wire on it, number 30 gauge wire, it'll uh, cause my microamp meter to swivel back and forth, showing alternating current being generated. Also cause the two LEDs to uh, alternate from one side to the other there. Anyway, for what it's worth, I just thought, this would be a worthwhile video, so I hope everybody's well, and uh, stay safe, and uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up.